Welcome back to another Zyze Digital video. Today we're going to be installing server 2019 on a 6.7 ESXi server. So first, your first uh, process of starting this is to find yourself a great ISO um, provider. I like to go straight to Microsoft because they are untapped, untouched. Um, you're going to clean ISO. Um, not from a torrent site. So to find one, which I'll put the link below, you're going to type in whatever Windows you want and type an eval behind it. You are not going to find Windows 7 or anything unsupported by Microsoft. Those you would have to find from a torrent site or hopefully you have a CD that you can turn into an ISO. So we get to this. I choose the server that I want here. Like, as you can see, we have server 2022 all the way to 2020 2012 which is still supported at this day um, on this day so we're going to choose iso hit continue you're going to fill out all this information whether it's real fake uh, i normally don't put my email address so i don't want spam uh, you're going to get to this point here where you're going to download the iso okay once downloaded you have to not like the old esx servers where you can where it was a hard install a fat app they would like to call it um, install on there where it would hook up to your cd-rom or find the iso wherever you have it on your local machine this 6.7 um, seems since it's running through the web you and there's no plug-in you, you you're going to want to upload it and it works a lot faster if you hope it's it works a lot faster when you want to spin up a VM because the ISO is located on the server or if you want it to uh, start a new server it's already going to be there so to do that you're going to come down to storage uh, assuming that your storage is um, configured correctly you're going to use your storage as where you're going to upload your ISO to so in this case I had a extra um, onboard SSD at 223 gigs so I'm using this as my data store too to hold all my installs so what I would do is go to data store here and then you want to go upload and it will give you a chance to find out what you want to upload so right now I put in server 2019 here so all you're going to do is double click here and you will get this ISO and you'll see a progress bar here once that's done you're going to go to close and you're going to right click on virtual machine in here you have the option to create slash register so if someone sends you over a VM register is to register that VM on your database and you can upload that that actual VM onto the server for my sake I'm creating a new virtual machine so we're gonna hit next I'm gonna name this GP web and we're going to select Windows and you have all these options here so we're going down to server 2016 or later we're going to hit next we're going to select the data store you want to install on so i want mine installed on this this is grade six so i'm going to hit next on this cpu you can change it to whatever we're going to give this 10 cpus and on memory i'm going to give this 60 gigs uh, disk space, we'll just do, since this is the ISO, maybe this is the OS disk space I'm using. We're just going to use that. Later on, I'll add more disk, but to add another disk, you would just simply put a uh, new disk and just continue to add this if you need more partitions. But you can always do that once you get the server up and running. This is everything here is it can be edited later on. So when I do that, I'm going to go ahead and hit next, ready to complete. I'm going to hit finish. I will come over to my server. As you can see down here, it says completed results. Once that's done, we want to hook the ISO to this server. So with it being powered down, you're going to go to edit settings. In edit settings, you're going to come to CD-ROM. You're going to hit connect. See, you can use the host device, but data store ISO files is a lot easier. So I'm going to come over to my data store 2 and select server 2019, hit select, save. Once that, you're going to see at the bottom here, configuring VM completed. So now all I have to do is click on this VM and it's great layout here. We're going to hit, going to hit the, pop, the play button and boot from any key. We'll hit this space bar. 
and we'll go through this as a normal process as if you were installing windows um, on, on, on a, uh, a physical machine this is just virtualized so if it was a physical machine you would do the same exact thing once you get to the screen so we're gonna hit next here we're gonna hit install and at this point how are you I install my windows different um, I install windows different from some uh, so anybody who install their windows if I'm doing it different from you it, however it works for you that's fine I install windows the same way every single time and have no problem and this is how I install it so to explain this part here we have Windows Server 2019 standard and then we have we have Windows uh, desktop so we're gonna use desktop experience So we selected desktop experience because desktop experience and I'm just going to go back so I can give you guys desktop experience is giving you the start button, the things that you're used to, the start button um, and the start. I mean, the taskbar start the start menu. If you use evaluation, um, just standard without desktop experience, it's all command props. So if you're watching this video, I'm pretty sure you're going to need desktop experience. So we're going to use desktop experience. We're not going to use data center, um, so we just use standard. We're going to hit next on this. This takes a little bit, so we'll wait. And this was recently updated, so 9-7-2019, so it has the most up-to-date on the updates out there. So we're going to hit accept terms. We'll hit next. We're going to custom install. Like I said, this is how I install it. Some people just click next on this part. I like to apply. So this created different partitions. So we have MSR reserved primary recovery and system. Okay, and recovery is if I needed to install reinstall Windows over it without using CD. We're gonna hit next. This process is pretty. This process is uh, a fast process. It gets through this probably within 30 seconds. I'll probably cut this out the video, but if not, hey, you get to watch the percentage go up. So at this pro at this point, you're almost you're 90 percent completed on setting the server up. I'm probably 97 percent completed. Uh, and after this, we're going to install usernames. Uh, we're going to uh, create a password, which your username is automatically going to be administrator on the server. And then you're going to create a password and then I'll join it to a domain. And then I'm all done with installing Windows 2019 on the ESX server. But just to see this process through, we'll wait. As you can see, this is pretty much the fastest that you're gonna get Windows to install because the ISO is located on the server already. So you're not using the CD-ROM where it's reading the CD-ROM and spinning and spinning and spinning. You already have the ISO on there. So it's just reading off the SSS, SSD drive. And that's why it's a lot faster than a normal hard drive spinning. So. So we're at 87%. All right, so Windows has finished and in, um, finished installing. The X server rebooted. Now we're back at, um, now it's gonna spin Windows up for us. All right, so we get to the point where we see our username administrator. Put in any password you like um, that you will remember and I'm going to put what I like here. Hit finished and that's it guys. We installed server 2019 on the ESX server. Um, what's great about this is so to access the server we're going to hit we're going to hit this action button and we're going to go to guests and what I always recommend is installing your VM tools. To do that, you have to get into the server. This takes a little bit used to getting because it likes to disappear. So we're gonna hit Control Delete. Let's log it in. So we're in. All right, so. All 
right, so now we're in the server. Um, we'll take a look at some of the settings here. So this is going to tell us we have 10 process, 60 gigs of memory installed. Perfect. So we're ready to go here. This will be another video. I'll show you how to get out of server 2019 standard evaluation once you get your product key. Um, so moving forward, guys, to install this, we're going to install VM tools. You should get something at my computer. This pops up, but it took too long. I just went right back in. So I mounted a fake CD-ROM drive, um, a temporary CD-ROM drive with the ISO that's already built in with into ESX. So we're going to install this. What this allows you to do is it's, it gives you better accuracy. It gives you other commands that you can do um, while the PC is running. It gives you installs better accuracy on your mouse. I mean, it does a lot of different tools that helps you um, control VM. So it wants you to restart it. So we're going to go ahead and restart it. And that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, it's simple, straightforward. Hopefully this video helped you. When